scientific picture of how the universe began points to a definite moment of creation. Perhaps it even hints at the reality of a supernatural creator. But for many people today, the Big Bang contradicts the idea that the universe was created by God. The contributors to these programs accept the scientific account of the Big Bang and they believe that God created the universe. How do they hold these beliefs together? Well, there's always tensions and there's always people exploiting those tensions to try and make money by selling books. Uh, um, I haven't really participated in that. Uh, let me just say that I, I start assuming that my God made everything that I can see and study. And I assume that he made things in such a way that I can study things reliably. So I go into this expecting no contradiction. And so what I don't understand, I try and understand as best I can. So I'm, I've learned I'm perfectly capable of misunderstanding my faith. And I've learned I'm perfectly capable of misunderstanding my science. And where my faith and my science don't agree or appear not to agree, uh, if that should happen, I try and figure out what mistake I'm making and I do the best I can. I think that fits right in, actually, to a larger biblical worldview where the, the, the Bible doesn't teach us the scientific details. It tells us the why, you know, that we have a, a, a great God who is a creative, powerful, and wanted to provide a, a universe that not only glorifies God but enables life to thrive, to, to eventually exist and thrive and to know God personally, to respond to God. So we're certainly living that out now. It's been, you know, 13.7 billion years of history and we're just now getting the privilege of learning about some of that history through, through astronomy, geology and the other sciences. I see a, a congruence there as long as we, we remember that science is limited to studying the, the physical realm, forces and, and, and matter and energy of nature, um, but can't really address some of these bigger questions like, you know, why was there a Big Bang in the first place? Not, not in terms of the physical cause, but in terms of the sort of purposeful cause. I'm not sure what's the most awesome part, that it all could be in that small ball of energy, or that so much interesting material could unfold out of it. Uh, but I stand in awe of both of these aspects and I would say that the fact that the universe could make itself in this way uh, is an astonishing gifting uh, to it uh, by the Creator. Well, I, I actually find the, uh, the current understanding of science to be something which is potentially quite reassuring from a, th from a Christian perspective. Um, but it's also something which I think theology has had an interesting hand in the development of that area of science. Um, when the, the Big Bang was initially just a, a, a one of, of a number of different approaches to, to the origins of the universe, it's interesting to see how I think as part of the motivation for the acceptance of the Big Bang was the fact that it was theologically constant. Physicists rather liked the idea of having a, a, a start to things and having a uh, someone lighting, as it were, the blue touch paper that, that kicked off the entire universe. I don't see any conflict. It rather tends to support faith. In other words, if we believe in causes and if the universe of time stops, then it's very natural to have um, the idea of a cause. Something must have given rise to all of this. Let me tell you a little story. This was a few years ago. I was at a social gathering and the host said to me, tell me, he said, you're a physicist. What about the steady state theory of the universe and the Big Bang? I've always liked the steady state theory, but I gather we all believe in the Big Bang now. I don't like this, he said, because he wasn't a believer. The trouble with the Big Bang theory is it'll have us all going back to church again. So that was his view, and he was in no way a believer. If you have a Big Bang, then something has to have caused all that. And to say that God is the ultimate cause of these things is a perfectly natural thing to say.
In these programmes we've seen that the current scientific understanding of how the universe began points to a definite moment of creation, a beginning of space and time. We've seen that the Big Bang wasn't just a random explosion, but had to be finely adjusted to make our lives possible. We've talked to scientists who believe in the Big Bang and believe that God created the universe. They don't see any conflict between the two. In fact, they see a harmony between them. All of this leads us to see that the Big Bang is completely consistent with believing that the universe was created by God. The God of the Bible is the God that is responsible for all that is there. And so whatever we you know, discover and uncover only glorifies God more. And so we're, we're, in fact, compelled to study more and more. In fact, Psalm, Psalm 19 says the heavens declare the glory of God. So the more glory we find, the more it's declaring the, the amazing complexities and glory of God. So I think we, we, again, have to remember that science and our theories and so forth may propel us to a deeper understanding of the physical universe but science is not designed to answer all the questions of, you know, why we're here. And, and I think we need, or at least I would say, that we, we, we desperately need this other component, which is the spiritual realm, understanding that, that God has revealed himself through, through many ways. One is through just the, the character of nature that we can analyze with science, but also the character of, of love, the character of our yearning uh, for a relationship with God, the, the um, revelations of God that we have received also through Scripture, through uh, great prophets, and most importantly through the coming of Jesus Christ. These are things that speak to our deeper being. And all of this goes into a picture of an individual's uh, view of their nature, their needs, their purpose, and their future. <laughs>